if I told you that Founding Fathers were part of something very secret, something very obscure, a group feared by monarchs and tyrants alike, a group whose influence reaches around the globe, a group whose enemies include the church, governments, and aristocrats, a group that played a game that wasn't a game. The Free Masons. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elijah Staggerton, and I'm here with the Enlightenment Channel's 30 for 30, Freemasons Exposed. There is no doubt of the secrecy of the Freemasons, but what were their motives for these mysterious ways? Since the beginning, Freemasons have been a blight. Freemasons have been a blight. Upon the philosophical tradition of Western thought. With their ultimately hypocritical message, Masons have used their enlightened pretenses as a means to plot against the governing powers of Europe. There are aspects of Freemasonry that appear overtly sinister. It's easy to take a group such as the Masons, veiled in secrecy, and create an image that frightens. However, the secretive nature of the Masons did not prevent them from contributing to society in meaningful ways. The Freemasons have long been a group mischaracterized by rumors about their nature, aided by a natural secrecy that groups like this generally possess. However, the Masons of the Enlightenment should be remembered as great progressives. Today, we find ourselves in a hotbed of alleged Masonic activity, hoping to uncover one of the last known Freemasons in the United States of America. Probably a Mason. The Catholic Church, with its hardened grip on the intellectual movements of previous centuries, felt a strong challenge arising in this Freemason movement. This fear ultimately culminated in the passing of a papal bull by Pope uh, Clement X uh, something 12th, entitled In Eminente. This papal bull effectively made it sinful for any Catholic to be involved in the secret activities of the Masons. Another eerie aspect of this movement was its reliance on loyalty that superseded that of even the church and the state. In his article, Jacquin describes on several occasions how the Masons take these secret oaths in order to mobilize against the church and state. Naturally, taking oaths that superseded the authority of the state greatly angered and drove fear into the hearts of the absolutist European monarchs. From their point of view, these Freemasons were spreading an almost quasi-religion, language and moral code that threatened the very basis of royal authority. Certainly, the Freemasons contributed a great deal to the Enlightenment as a whole. Perhaps the negative portrayal of the Freemasons is unjust. Maybe the group is exactly what it claims to be. But who are the Freemasons? What notable figures in history can count themselves among the population of Freemasons? This might be the key to discovering the true nature. The secretive group known as the Freemasons naturally evolved in something quite different in the minds of those on the outside of the group. One, they were not anti-religion. Masons must believe in some god, in any god, in order to join. This is remarkably tolerant for a group that developed fully during a time of great persecution and intolerance. Freemasons sought to balance intellectual thought and progress with religion. Their efforts were directed at finding a common ground between the two, shunning neither. 
they were dedicated to self-improvement, avoiding frivolous, wasteful activities. They sought to grow as individuals so that they may better their community as a whole. This is perhaps their greatest focus. They believe that all good men strive for virtue and wisdom, which promoted happiness both in life and afterwards. <laughs> What is the goal of the Freemasons? Uh, some of the goals of the Freemasons, uh, you know, you know, we like to get drunk. Uh, we like to have cookouts. We like to go to the pool. Check out babes. Um, you know, we like to build a family-friendly environment as well. We have a very competitive T-ball league. Um, <clears throat> Those would be some of the goals of the Freemasons, I think. Why does the government fear you? So you're asking why the government fears me? I'm going to ask you why the government wouldn't fear me. I'm a grade A alpha male. There's no one that shouldn't be afraid of me. You got that right? Can you tell us about your rituals? So I can't tell you about all the rituals uh, the Freemasons have, but I will tell you about some of them. Ritual number one, every Friday night, we go to Taco Bell. Ritual number two, all new members must shotgun three beers before they're allowed to be completely considered full Masons. Uh, ritual number three, uh, if you bring back a father above, you have to tell everybody. That's my favorite ritual. Are you the Illuminati? Am I the Illuminati? Uh, no, I do not have that disease. I don't even know what kind of disease that is. Kind of upset that you would accuse me of having that thing. So at the conclusion of our investigation today, we did in fact find a member of the Masonic Party whose interview was cut a little short because I offended him in the interview. Nevertheless, we were able to conclude that the Masons were not what we thought they were. Again, my name is Elijah Staggers, signing off for the Enlightenment Channel's 30 for 30, Freemasons Exposed.